For Korean actors and actresses, getting famous just isn't easy. It can take years of effort, hard work, and maybe a really rare stroke of good luck. But getting famous isn't where the challenge ends, and maintaining popularity is an entirely different matter. Sadly, a lot of celebrities had failed this particular step. So today, we are discussing Korean actors who were once massively popular, only to soon lose their shine. Number 1. Park Yoo-chun Once a member of the legendary K-pop group DBSK, Park Yoo-chun was said to be the most popular member, with the most promising feature, particularly with regards to his massive successes in the acting industry. Yoo-chun's first leading role was in Soon Kyung Kwan's Scandal, where he was among the most famous in the cast. And that's saying something, because his co-stars were Park Min-young, Yoo Ah-in, and Song Joong-ki. Following Soon Kyung Kwan's Scandal, the actor was praised for good acting, and went on to retire peaks, nailing multiple popular series like Miss Ripley, Rooftop Prince, and Girl Who Sees Smells. He was also an award-winning actor, achieving multiple prestigious prizes, including the 2013 Big Song's Most Popular Actor, the 2015 Big Song's Best Rookie Actor for Films, and most noticeably, Best New Actor at 2014 Blue Dragon Film Awards. And yet, we never hear of his name nowadays. The reasons? A series of scandals. In 2016, four women came forward to accuse Yoo-chun of sexual harassment. The actor's name was dragged across all forms of media, leaving scarring nicknames like Toilet Yoo-chun and Salon Yoo-chun. In 2017, the accusations were cleared with the women being sent to prison. However, this is far from the end of problems. A while later, there was good news. In April 2017, Yoo-chun announced engagement with Hwang Hana, member of one of the richest families in South Korea. But this relationship didn't come to fruition, as the wedding was postponed and eventually cancelled in 2018. It was supposed to be a normal breakup, but Hwang Hana went online and made subtle statements that Yoo Chun was a drug user. The actor ended up being arrested for drug use in 2019, received a two-year suspended sentence, and was fined 1.4 million won. And as a result, his career was basically over. It has been four years since we last saw Yoo Chun in a commercial film, and it's unlikely that he will ever come back. Number 2. Yoon Eun-hye Ah, Yoon Eun-hye. Had you been a K-drama fan since the 2000s? It's just impossible to miss her name. From Princess Hours, Vineyard Man, to Coffee Prince, the actress was a household name, and not only in the acting field. In fact, she was also highly regarded in the fashion world, and had even created designs for brands like Join Us and Samantha Thavasa. Her fashion attempts were widely recognized, leading to the actress being invited for the Chinese fashion show Goddesses Fashion, and even won first place in one episode with a design of her own. Except it wasn't. After the episode aired, Yoon Chun-ho, a well-known designer, had accused eun of plagiarism. He compared the actress's design with one of his outfits in his arched fall-winter 2015 collection, pointing out that there were jarring similarities. In response, the actor completely refuted the claim, saying that she took inspiration from the spring-summer collection of Victor and Rolf and Lab in 2014 instead. She also added that while there are similarities in the folding sleeve, it was just a design trend that by no means belonged to Yoon Chun-ho. Finally, she added, I'm sorry that such information had spread without confirmation. I hope that Yoon Chun-ho won't use Yoon eun hee to promote his own brand. This daring statement, however, did not fix the situation. In fact, Netizens became curious and started to look into Unhye's other designs, and shocking discoveries were made. It turns out that in the same competition, the actors had two other suspicious outfits. First, there's her gown with a hand doodle pattern, which Netizens thought was copied from Dolce & Gabbana's Fall Winter 2015 collection. Then there's her black and white ball gown, which was eerily similar to a dress from BCBG. The only difference is in the back. She must have been desperate to be called a fashionista. Has she always been this dumb? Comments like these flood all articles regarding the actress, and thus, Yoon Eun-hye was hashtag cancelled. In December 2015, the actress finally relayed her apologies, but this did nothing to ease public opinion. All of Eun-hye's future works, including Love Alert and Go Go Song, were complete commercial failures, showing that there's little chance of the actress ever getting back her popularity. Number 3. Kim Hyun Jung Playing the charming second lead of the legendary K-drama Boys Over Flowers, Kim Hyun Jong's popularity basically exploded. He got as many fans as Lee Min-ho in the 2010s, and despite lacking acting experience, Hyun Jung had nailed leading roles in other series like Playful Kiss, 
and inspiring generation. However, all of the actor's potential came to a halting stop in 2014, when his ex-girlfriend Choi sued him for heavy physical abuse. She claimed that the actor had constantly hit her, leading to severe bruising, broken ribs, and lung hospitalizations, and posted her hospital records to back up her claims. In response, the actor's agency had issued an official statement, claiming that Kim Hyun Jung had only hit Choi once in an argument, and that both of them had struck blows during said fight. They even claimed that the broken ribs were entirely accidental, and were a result of rough play between the two. Well, the public didn't buy those explanations. Instead, they focused on the fact that Hyun Ju had indeed hit his girlfriend. The actor ended up paying her a settlement of 600 million won, and also was fined 5 million for charges of assault. But things didn't end there. In 2015, Choi filed another lawsuit, which claimed that Hyun Ju's abuse caused her to have a miscarriage, and that he had pressured her to have an abortion. She also revealed that she was carrying the actor's child, and further tests confirmed that the child was actually his. This case was settled just last year, with the court ruling in favor of Hyun Jung. They stated that there's no evidence of Choi's miscarriage claims, and that she had to pay 100 million won in damages for ruining his reputation. Well, we can never know what's actually behind the scenes, but whatever the case, the actor had been completely ruined. His return project in 2018, that time when time stops, recorded ratings as low as 0.1%, clear evidence of his bygone popularity. Number 4. Gu Hyesun Speaking of Boys Over Flowers, the drama had boosted the career of most of its cast, including the one behind the female lead, actress Gu Hyesun. Before Boys Over Flowers, she had got a fair amount of fame from the 2006 TV series Pure in Heart and was praised for her appearance in The King and I. However, everything changed after her biggest and final hit. When the actress appeared in the pilot drama Take Care of Us Captain, the audience wasn't pleased. They posted pictures that compared Gu Hyesun in the drama with her 2000 sitcom Nonstop and Boys Over Flowers, claiming that she had not improved in an entire decade. The acting controversy continued to rise in 2015 and 2017, when Hyesun was once again criticized for awkward expressions and strange manners in the KBS vampire drama Blood and NBC's You Were Too Much, respectively. Both of them also recorded low viewership ratings, with many blaming Gu Hyesun for being indescribably bad. Finally, the public decided to drop the actress altogether, after her divorce fiasco in 2020. Here, she had accused ex-husband Ahn Jae-hyun of cheating, ignoring her, and revealed private matters like he didn't find her nipples sexy. Private messages with Jae-hyun, though, told a completely different story, and many of the public decided that they cannot trust the actress. Her newest comeback in the self-directed movie Dark Yellow was also not met with positive reactions, seeing that she herself claimed she would withdraw from the entertainment industry just a couple of months earlier. Falling out of the limelight isn't a rare thing in a field as changing as entertainment, but it is still a heartbreaking scene to see. Were you fans of any of these actors and actresses or know any similar cases? Don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. See ya!